Hi everyone, it's Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com and it's Thursday, September 22nd, 2011. Here's your free college football pick. You know, every year around this time there's a video of me doing, uh, you know, a free pick with a temperature that's around 125 degrees. That's today for me. I couldn't even do the video yesterday, but uh, didn't stop us from doing free picks and write-ups of every single game of every single sport. That's what we do at SportsChatPlace.com. No excuses, no jumping through hoops, no having to sign up for this, that, or the other thing. Just a free pick on every single game of every single sport. Of course, some games we like better than others. We tell you what those are at SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition, where we get my best bets, our staff's best bets, and picks from some of the top handicappers in the world today, all for about the daily price of a newspaper, or for what the other guys charge for one pick, you get a few hundred picks. And uh, we're going to have a new product we're going to be talking about with SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition within the next day or so. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's called the Premium plus edition. So uh, it's something that people asked for, we do it. That's how, that's how it rolls. We don't uh, come up with these uh, magical ideas and uh, you know, just throw stuff out there. We listen to what our readers say. We got, like I said, a half a million of them a month and uh, they come up with some great ideas and uh, we'll, uh, you know, we, we try and execute on them the, the best that we can and then we take you know, those things once we've executed on them. We just continue to improve them, just like we've done at SportsChatPlace.com, adding the premium members forum. We have the pregame chats for college and pro football, and boy, we've been giving out some big winners in those chats, and uh, also taking people off of some uh, some games that kind of looked a little sketchy. We talked everyone off the cliff on that uh, on that Titans uh, Ravens game on Sunday. I, I said there's something I did not like about the Ravens in that one, and uh, I think I saved our readers some money. And of course, on Saturday. I told everyone Ohio was going to absolutely stomp Marshall, and uh, I didn't give it out as a premium pick. We just talked about it in the chat for a little bit. We also liked uh, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, who won by about 150 points as well. But anyways, enough about that. Uh, let's just get to tonight's game. This game's from Cincinnati, a place where I lived for a little while. It's a place where my wife is from, and... Uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely one of those places where, uh, you know, if you've never been there, well, you, you have, you're probably uh, not missing too much. If you have been there, well, then you know it's not not su not such a bad little town. But uh, anyways, they have, uh, you know, it, it's it's the Queen City. It's uh, you know, Porkopolis used to be the port capital of the world, and uh, you know they have Grater's ice cream, and you know a lot of people into Skyline Chili, all kinds of stuff. But another thing they have is, is college sports and. Uh, Cincinnati Bearcats, uh, you know, more and more on the map, uh, you know, through the years they had uh, Mark D'Antonio who went on to Michigan State, Brian Kelly who went on to uh, Notre Dame, and now, you know, Butch Jones who was from Central Michigan, same place as uh, Brian Kelly was, coaching up the Bearcats. So, you know, they're going to have a wide open offense, and that's what we've seen from them. Over at North Carolina State, it's a Tom O'Brien team from Boston College. You got, you know, top, what to expect from Tom O'Brien. You know, you're going to see a solid, disciplined football team, a team that uh, you know can put some points up, and a quarterback who's always thinking this is the guy that recruited Matt Ryan. You know, who plays for the Falcons. Who, of course, our premium members know that I gave the winner out on Sunday night uh, uh, on that game as well. So I think what we see here is that we've seen that the Cincinnati defense is. This is a offense can put up a lot of points. Their defense vulnerable, so I, I think that that part of the equation looks to to be a lot of points. I think when we look at the uh, North Carolina State side, tough to tell because two games against FCS opponents that means uh, non Division One opponents, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe you schedule one like a local team to kind of boost them up, like how the Florida schools rotate Florida A and M in the in the rotation. But uh, to schedule two of them, I, I'm not really sure. I think that's what you call uh, padding the, the record a little bit. And uh, in their one uh, game against a, a legitimate team when they played against Wake Forest, uh, we saw a ton of points scored in that game. We saw um, 61, which would uh, put it over the total here as well. It's an aggressive total for this type of game. I, I'm going to say, uh, you know, I'm going to say that it's not my stronger pick. My stronger pick is going to be against the spread, and that I po already posted in the premium edition. But I'm going to say for the total that I think this one's going over. Um, I, I know that uh, you know, between uh, you know, seven and eight touchdowns is, is a ton of points. Um, actually, it's eight and nine touchdowns is a ton of points. Um, you know, 59 and a half to, I've seen it as high as 61. I still think it goes over. That's, uh, it, it's a lack of defense, and it's, uh, you know, it, it's two quarterbacks that can really move the ball, and we'll, we'll see plenty of it. 
Get ready for a shootout in the Queen City tonight. We're on the over. Of course, my uh, pick against the spread in the premium section, along with I got already loaded up uh, at least four picks for this weekend for uh, college football Saturday. Of course, I'll have a pick in there for tomorrow as well and uh, NFL picks. I'll probably start putting those up uh, this afternoon. And all the cappers will be chiming in with their picks as well. So we'll have plenty of picks, just like we've had at least, I'd say, 10-plus picks on uh, Saturday uh, for college football each and every week probably around the eight range for uh, NFL football every week. So uh, this is Mitch from SportsChatPlace.com. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out all of our free sports picks, write-ups and action at SportsChatPlace.com. For my best bets or staff's best bets, SportsChatPlace.com Premium Edition. I'll see you guys tomorrow.